Almighty Fighting Championships brought to you by Fibbers and Fibbers of York, York's premier destination for live music and nighttime entertainment. Fibbers, the official after show party of AFC 8. Now presenting inside the cage tonight, three five minute rounds of professional action in the flyweight division. Introducing first in the red corner, he is making his debut as a professional and representing Team Elite. Give it up for Liam the Nightmare Gittens. And his opponent in the blue corner with a professional record of two wins and two defeats. Representing Ayrshire Fight Academy. Give it up for Ian the Ferret Bustlethwaite. When the action begins, your referee in charge is Craig Lawrence. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Second pro fight of the night. The long-anticipated debut, pro debut of Mr. Liam Gittins taking on Braveheart. Ian Possible. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the ferret. <laughs> the ferret. The ferret, Ian Possible. Wait. Here we go. Ian Possible wait, with a pro record of 2-2. Two and two. Obviously, Liam Gittins making his pro debut, but had an amateur record of 11-2. and two. And like we said... All but good things said for uh, both of these fighters. Both of these fighters, yeah. Now, Postlethwaite has an amazing stand-up um, background. Competed in Thai a lot, but he's no slouch at all on the ground. Well, when you're in these pro rankings, you can't, you can't not be an all-rounder. I think when I faced him, he was a purple belt or a brown belt. About, but he's just got rocked by Gittins, and Gittins catches him with a one-two. Sorry, Possibly. I got lost for words there, Possibly watching that. trying to swing out, <laughs> and, and Gittins has him rocked again. Gittins is looking very dominant so far. I haven't seen this Liam Gittins before. No. Coming out on a mission tonight. And as we know, Gittins is well versed in pretty much everything, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he um, possibly manages to uh, pull back the butterfly and just feet on hips, try and control the distance of his man. Um, Gittins just there, uh, posturing up a little bit. There and seems to be a little bit of a cut over the eye of uh, Liam Gittins. But this is, again, another pro debut. This will be where Gittins will be able to feel the groundwork of the difference yeah. in pro, where you that can throw the it, elbows yeah. as he is now raining them down. But That's it. The only other problem is he's going to feel some elbows, probably. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's all good and well saying, you know, you can elbow this, you can elbow that. But, you know, when someone starts throwing them back, all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I would not like an elbow. To oh, the it's not a nice feeling. It's not a nice feeling. But Ian's uh, taking these elbows well at the moment. He's covering up and doing just enough to kind of keep the action going on the ground. Yeah, he's had four pro fights before. You know, he, he knows yep. what it feels like to be in this kind of position. But Liam Gittins... He's new to the pro ranks and he's he's trying to put yeah, his stamp on it yeah, tonight. He's, he's trying he's trying his best to get this guy out in the first round. But possibly it's not someone who can just put out that easily. No, he's a veteran. He's a veteran. And uh, to say he's, he hasn't got the most fights at pro, but he's been around a long time. And he's had a lot of success in all facets of the sport. But Gittins there just with um, a right-sided hook in on Postlethwaite. Raining down a little bit of leather. Postlethwaite turns in, trying to scrape him off on the fence. Good cage awareness there by Postlethwaite, but Gittins just reaching over. Yeah, Postlethwaite looks really calm. He looks like he's, you know, yeah. he's ready for this kind of situation. He's been here before. Yeah, exactly. You know. And this is it. Like, this is our second pro debut tonight, and um, Gittins is looking like he's not letting the, the bright lights or the pro nerves get to him. Oh, no, definitely um, not. He's, he's coming uh, in with a point to prove, and they <laughs> call him a nightmare for the reason. Uh, so. and with the flyweight division nowadays, the pro flyweight division is on fire. It is, but it's not that deep. Yeah, you it's can not string that together three good wins, and you can be in that top 20. Yeah, 100%. 100%. But it also means because it's not that deep. Like one to twenty, a legit killers. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the top. Looking, at, I was looking at the rankings for this fight, and the top fifty flyweights, minus the couple of ones who were like from a few years ago. Yep, they're all killers. Oh, they are. Yeah, including yeah. one, Mr. Danny Missing. I don't think he's I'm in, in the top there. fifty anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, also for doing everything uh, defensively right. Um, Taking a little bit too, a little few too many uh, shots to the head right now, but Gittins is relentless. He started um, this round with the same pace that he's pretty much ending it with, and uh, it's, a, it's a different kind of Liam Gittins. 
Postlethwaite oh. looking to lock up an armbar. Gittins is there. Oh. There's an armbar there if he wants it. If he can get it, his elbow's in. Get, now, this is the first adversity that Gittins has seen in this fight. Postlethwaite hooking the leg, and it's those fine details that are going to do it at pro level. You know, with the big, big gloves, you can get away with it a little bit at amateur, you know, just kind of hold the top of the wrist. But yeah. that, that leg reap and stuff, and, you know, turning out, getting the angle. Those this small gloves are a little unforgiving when he's trying to grip hold of them. They slip out nice and easy. This is a completely different Liam Gittins from what I'm used to seeing. I know. It's, it, it's usually a bit more It's like his evil twin. But, yeah, it must be yeah. <laughs> Liam Gittins' evil twin. Raining on some ground and power. Craig Lawrence has taken a close look at this fight. That's it. Oh, knee to the, that was a knee to the head, was it? And he's, he looks down, but, you know, the new unified rules state that yeah. you can't play the game. Got to be both hands. That's it. Elbows to the head, drops the impossible weight. Impossible for weight's looking, he's looking to try and latch onto a leg. Oh, Gittin's looking like he's trying to, trying to end the fight here. Ten Last seconds. ten seconds. Last ten seconds. Craig Lawrence taking a close look. Can Possible for weight throw back? About three seconds left in this fight. Oh, and he's waiting on, on the last, last second. Postle for it shaking his head there, but he, he took too many shots. He Danny. did too many unanswered shots, unfortunately. Gittins proved way too much tonight. Even with that one more second, if they'd have gone into the second, he'd have been rocked going into that next round. Liam Gittins. And if we think it's Liam Gittins, <laughs> it might be his evil twin. I tell you what, <laughs> Liam Gittins making a successful pro debut. Brian Crichton making his uh, drop back down to his first successful drop to flyweight tonight. The flyweight division has just got excited. Exactly. Liam Gittins, he, he, obviously everyone were expecting him to make his pro debut sometime soon. And he's coming in, he's put a stamp on his That's own career. It. Yeah, he has, he has. And he's, he's set the stand, he's set the bar. Possible for it's no slouch. Possible for it has four fights on him. Yep. Possible for it has been in with, there with, you know, some top guys. He's coming off a win. Yeah, he's coming off a win. Um, you know, I haven't got enough good things to say about Ian. He's a top guy and he's a top fighter. But Gittins tonight stole wow. the show and literally maintained that same pace from start to finish. And as a little bit of an apology, there is no doubt there that Gittins uh, was going to come out on top in my eyes. Um, oh, yeah. he, 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 he dominated. And uh, to dominate a man like Ian, that is uh, it's a feather in the cap there. Oh, yeah, he started off strong all the way through and he ended it strong. Solid finish for uh, Liam Gittins and we'll uh, hand it over to our official MC for the official decision, Mr. Buddy Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for both fighters this evening. Come on. At four minutes, 59 seconds if of the first round, our referee called the stoppage to this bout, declaring your winner by TKO with strikes in the red corner, Liam the Nightmare Gittins. And round of applause for Ian the Ferret Postlethwaite.